Hey, come on. Hey, you need to play better in the second half, all right? What? Hey, just give me the ball, all right? Let me do my thing. Okay, on every play? Yeah, I'm sure the defense isn't going to figure that out. Okay, well, you need to figure it out. This isn't just a game with me. I know that. I know that, Isaiah. Just one half remains in the college football season as we begin the second half of this national championship game. This is taken at his four. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. So, CD, you look at our quarterback. He said it. He's been consistent. This is it. I'm graduated. I'm not going to go the grad transfer route. It's time for me to move on. If you're an NFL scout, do you see enough in him to think he's got a future in this league with this little experience that we've seen? Every scouting instinct tells me to tell him to go the graduate transfer route. But you know how it is nowadays. And look, he's played awfully well against two top five defenses. Someone's going to take a shot and give this guy a look. Well, several teams need a quarterback. You think about the Cardinals. They're going to be picking number one. But Giants figure to be in the market. Broncos, Bengals, possibly the Raiders. So there's going to be some teams looking. And don't forget, backups are at a premium in this league. And this guy could be a developmental player. Draft him. Let him work in your organization for a while. Learn the playbook. Sit for a while. Because down the road, he could turn out to be a gem. 15 yards through the air and a first down. Back to back good plays. Have him on the move on first down. On the ground, Deku. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Back to throw. Nifty move. And a rifle one complete to Streets. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 11 yards there, first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll set up a throw. They'll let this go for the end zone. And that is caught. It's an LSU touchdown. Isaiah Streets, his second touchdown of the night as his guys are able to regain the lead. So now two touchdown passes thrown, and we talked earlier about the young cancer patient, Emily Atwood. She asked him a week ago for four touchdown passes. Heck, he's already halfway there. Yeah, Isaiah Streets relayed that story to us. It's a pretty tall task for a second career start. But the way he's looked these last couple of games, he's not phased by the request, is he? He's halfway there. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. Now this is Keller. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now, Luna. From the gun on third down, Birch looks to throw, fires right side. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender is making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. They've got to like their position. They lead this championship game, two quarters to play. What's the course of action in this second half? I think you continue to show your quarterback that you've got faith in him. Continue to run the offense the way you did in the first half. Continue to give him opportunities. But behind his back, head coach is telling the offensive play caller, if you see any moments where it feels too big for him, 
be ready to dial this game plan back. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. LSU with a first and ten. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. They'll run it now out of the gun. Despite the blitz, they're still able to cook up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. He'll look to throw. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. So he fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. A couple of first downs on the drive already. As they'll go from the 47 now on first down. On play action, they'll throw. There goes a deep ball in zone. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. They frustrated these receivers tonight, really held down the passing game, but there got the penalty. Fine line between aggressive, good coverage, and interference, and they crossed it on that play. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Able to get there and pick it. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage, but instead he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw right into it for an interception. On first down, Beasley. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. 94. You got Bomber. You got Bomber. Now they try the right side here. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. Movement there on the offensive line. A little quick and a five-yard penalty. Offense. That was a third and somewhat manageable, now not so manageable. Exactly, because you had a play call on that you felt like, hey, this could go quick, and it doesn't take much to get it done. Now, you got to start thinking about a little bit of a deeper route type of a call, especially if you want to throw it. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had to fly to send the guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves them with a very manageable second and one. Back now here on EA Sports. As we're about ready to rock and roll for the fourth and final quarter. They'll run here with Deku. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Back to throw now on first down. Over the middle, it's Isaiah Streets. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Now! Go! Go! Second and two. Oh, he 
he got position on him and he pulls it in. 23 yards the pick up there. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Here's second and eight. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. You can't be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10-yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. A critical error there in a tight game in the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. The Ducks set to go on offense as they come to the line. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up. Is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked off near the 34. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of poise. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. That's good for 28 yards. Here's a first and 10, Oregon. Operating from the gun. Arch firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. And they'll give it here to his running back. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Oh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. So an interesting call there to take the three. I mean, I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the end. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there, hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. They'll run on first down. Livingston. That's a gain of four here in the fourth quarter with them leading by four on the scoreboard. 70, Indy. They'll keep it on the ground. Livingston, and he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. They'll drop the throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. On first down, Livingston. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. They'll keep it on the ground. Livingston. 
Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football and I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw, out to the perimeter, maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They went with the dive look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. Able to get away. That's why you keep the legs churning. 35 yards that time on the punt. The Oregon offense on the field ready for their next possession. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. And they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. And out across midfield, down to the 45. 27 yards there, a first down. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Back to throw. He's going to let it fly. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. But a really nice knockdown. He has so much pressure in these situations on defensive backs. What are they taught? Play the ball, not the man. Because if you have a pass interference penalty in this spot, boy, oh boy, you put your team in a bad place. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Washington. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. A gain of 13. It's a first down. The Ducks come up now, first and 10. Back to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. It's a story to end all stories. Behind a quarterback who had never taken a snap in college football until just nine days ago. For the first time since 2007, the LSU Tigers are your national champions. Please turn your attention to the podium at midfield for the presentation of the College Football Playoff National Championship Trophy as we present your College Football National Champions, the LSU Tigers. Jack Ford, talk about a long shot. And as a man who's known as the quarterback whisperer, and I suggest you trademark that, by the way, um, how are you feeling about your quarterback right now? I tell you, this kid's amazing. He worked around the clock to prepare for this game. I've never seen anything like it. And I am so proud of what he's done and under this kind of pressure. Hope all you NFL scouts out there are paying attention because this kid's special. Come on, man. You deserve it, son. Congratulations. Coach, this is you, man. This is great. Thank you. A perfect end to a too short season. You're leaving here a champion. I, 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 it's better than I ever thought it would feel. I can't even describe it, really. It's just to be up on the stage, celebrating with these guys. It's perfect. It's just perfect. It is a perfect end, but it seems like you put up a pretty good case that it shouldn't be today. How do you feel about that? I, hey, I, I think I gave myself a shot. If the NFL comes calling, I'll pick up the phone. But this guy over here, this guy, take that trophy, man. Absolutely. Isaiah Streets, we are all aware of the loss of your brother and what it took to be here today. But can you tell us, in this moment, how you're feeling right now? It's a lot, lots of feelings, Taylor. Uh, I made a promise to my brother that I was going to... <laughs> you know, none of this... None of this would have been possible without this man right here. 
This dude came into an impossible situation. He's got heart. Love you, man. Hey, I love you, man. Z! This was for you, baby! Yeah! This was for you! Yeah! Let's go! A lot of emotions out on the field tonight. This is what football is all about. About getting hit and getting back up. And as you can see in a season that was characterized by overcoming, these guys did just that and won a national championship. Back to you guys.